Um, just understanding that, you know, I'm going to have more on ball responsibility. Um, you know, so still trying to find that balance of being aggressive and making sure everybody's involved, uh, making sure KD's getting his touches, um, allowing him to be aggressive in space. Um, you know, I know it's going to be a faster tempo game with, with campaign out there. And, you know, I think he started off the game with a full court layup, then a kick ahead to J.O. for an easy layup. Um, you know, those are important plays for our team. How are you phys feeling physically? Because you're logging heavy minutes, you're playing both ends of the court, and like you said, it was an up-tempo game tonight. I feel so good. Blessed to be out here. Book, when they came out with their changes to start the second half, how did you and Kevin try to stick with what was, stick with what was working even with two and three coming at you? Um, I mean, I invite that. You know, that's my, my favorite brand of basketball when they double him and I get to be on the backside and just make a quick decision. So, um, yeah, it's just reading it. Um, you know, they switch it up a lot. They put Jokic on the guard sometimes. You know, I think that's an adjustment that they, that they made also. And also just trying to read it. Um, you know, we've been in practice and we try to have an answer for every adjustment that they make. And, you know, it's just getting into it quicker. You know, I think we can do better moving forward. TJ got one in the corner, didn't go down. He found the ball right again and, and made the next one just to go back to trust and how you guys have that let it fly mentality through the season, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, and we have a long standing relationship. So, you know, I believe in Tony to the fullest. That's actually what I was yelling at him after he made the, the second shot. Um, and then I went back to him a third time and he was able to get the floater too. So, you know, if teams are playing those defense or they double KD. You know, the next man rotates to me. It's going to leave somebody wide open. So um, just knocking it down with confidence, trying to give confidence to, to everybody on the team. Would you yell exactly, Adam? Nah, I can't say that. But <laughs> I believe in you. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a couple bleeps. Devin, obviously, you talked about <clears throat> in previous game setting the tone. How important was that for you to do that? Because you had 18 points in the first quarter. Yeah, you know, just trying to be aggressive, being being ultra aggressive. Um, I understand that opens things up for my teammates when when I play that way, and at the same time, just taking what the defense gives me. You know, a lot of it was in transition, um, block shots, rebounds, and then just taking off. And KD draws so much attention and left me wide open for a couple threes, and you know, just getting easy ones. Jock ran the full court and sealed somebody in the middle, which opened up a layup for me. So. You know, the guys around me are making it easier for me. The other thing I had was they, they went up three in the third, and you guys went on a 14-0 run and started late in the third mm -hmm. and then and continued in the fourth. And during that stretch, it was obviously getting stops. But what did you feel like you guys were getting on the offensive end to, to extend that lead? I definitely got to look at it. Um, you know, we just we came out of halftime poor. You know, I think we were too complacent, got comfortable. And, you know, I know that's something coach is going to be stressing in practice tomorrow. And... You know, as a unit, you know, we understand what we did and, you know, we just have to come with the put them, put them away mindset for up 15, 16 and a half. I mean, we know they're not going to roll over, but, you know, we just have to come out better than that. Book, obviously, uh, D.A. kind of had a tough night tonight, mm -hmm. um, you know, as a leader and, and somebody who's kind of like, what do you tell him? Because obviously you're going to need him. Yeah. In the coming games. I mean, that's life. You know, we, we've been we've been around you know, long enough to understand every night's not going to be your night. You know, it's just doing doing other things to make up for it. You know, if you make a shot, miss a layup, like, you, you don't know what's going to happen there. But energy and effort always has to be high, especially time around this time. You can't get, you know, flustered. Um, you can't get in your own head. And, you know, I could see that a little bit with him today. So, you know, it's my job to, you know, just pump him up. Like, it's, a, it's the next possession. Like... You know, who cares how you play? All it comes down to is if you win or loss around this time of year. You, you mentioned the other night, you know, embrace the challenge, make sure you have fun. What do you enjoy about the pressure of these kind of situations? I mean, it's all I know. This is all I've dreamed of as a kid. Um, I mean, I've dedicated a lot of my life. I moved away from my family when I was young to, you know, pursue being in these moments. Um, and just the people that came before me, man, like, you know, my dad played and just being a fan of the game, you know, it was my way through life. So, you know, it's not time to fold up now.
Devin, what can you say about the team defense? So Monty played guys who are known more for offense, but you guys held them to like 43% shooting, uh, limited their effectiveness at the three-point line. What can you say about the team defense tonight? I mean, it's important. You know, um, you know, a few of the guys you're talking about haven't played this whole series or last series. So, you know, big shout out to them for, for being re ready. T. Ross, TJ, you know, come in, don't know when they're going to play. And, you know, that's a, that's a tough assignment. Um, just thrown into, you know, down 0-2, playoff game, you know, high intensity, and you're just thrown into the fire. So big ups to them, but, you know, just communication trumps everything. You know, talking to each other out there, you know, if you get quiet, you know, that's kind of where you get lost. Nick? But kind of speaking to that, the last five minutes, the lineup you guys had, are you kind of aware, looking around, like, oh, this is a different different look for us to close a game? Um, not really. Um you know, as a coach, I, I always tell coach, you know, I can never coach. <laughs> it's, uh, it has to be the hardest job because um, you, you just don't know and you have to take chances and you have to just believe in, you know, what you have. Um, you know, so that's kind of my mentality when I'm out there too. Like, wh whatever we got out here, let's, let's do it. Um, and like I said earlier, just talking to each other. You know, communication trumps everything. And, you know, tomorrow is when we get the – Settle it all in, see what actually went down, and you know make adjustments from there. Three more, Ben, stay not. Devin, coming into the night, <clears throat> down 0-2, no CP. This could be a very like stressful and overwhelming situation potentially. What makes you embrace this and relish this? Man, life's stressful. <laughs> um, like I said, you know, people ask me after last game, like, there's gonna be a lot of your plate moving forward, and you know that's just that's what it is. Um, so to stand for what it is and, you know, just enjoying every moment. Um, playoff basketball is serious, man. You feel that energy. You feel the adrenaline. I'm sure you guys feel it just being in the arena. So um, there's nothing like it. Yeah, you guys are really efficient in the fast break points and more than double the nuggets. Can you talk about Jock's contribution with those defensive rebounds and getting out and running in pace? Yeah, I mean, he's a playmaker, too. Um, that's a tough assignment he has down there fighting with Jokic and you know, the times they don't score to be able to get the ball and outlet it, you know, as soon as possible is a is a skill for a big. I think you've seen Kevin Love has been having success with it with, with Miami now. Um, those plays are, are very underrated to be able to get a rebound and get it out for your teammate that quick. Um, and then sprint the floor after that. So you're asking you're asking him to do a lot and you know, he he's built for it. Last one. Devin, your only two free throws come from <clears throat> The, the last minute or so. You only missed five shots, but there's, there's no free throws throughout the game. And towards the end, there was a timeout when you hold up a zero sign kind of towards the crowd. I just want to know what you make of that. That's a great question. I have no answer. <laughs>